welcome back coders welcome to coding casually and today what we'll be doing is we'll be making a flask website a simple website but using visual studio code so we would not be making something which will be fancy enough but what we will be doing is we'll be starting up with flask we'll get to know how you make a website through flask a basic website using the html template even and this is a flash tutorial web development part one uh, using visual studio code and python so we would be making more videos and we'll try to make uh, a fancy website even but for this one we'll start how to make that site okay so what i want you to do is i want you to make a folder uh, on your desktop or anywhere that you want to do it we would not be using any virtual environment for the same i have made a folder called flask and i have made uh, two folders the first one is the static one and the second one is the templates one make sure that you put the spelling as is that you see on my screen and then I'll delete this file because this is the one that I've created ignore the logo folder and ignore the VS code folder so the moment you're ready um, uh, to make that flask file uh, using Python what you need to do is you need to open up your Visual Studio code and I'll open it up and the moment you open your Visual Studio code and I want you to select the folder where we need to make that file so you can choose the option which is open folder by going to file and choose the flask folder the moment you are in this folder uh, it will show you the contents of it so what I want you to do is press the new file and my app is the name of the file that I'm creating it's up to you which you want to create and uh, we want the python file so that is the reason i've written pi so in order to start a flask uh, website you need to make the server as well right so anything which is made in flask is basically an app only so what we'll do is the first one is we'll import uh, what we'll import we would not import we will say from flask we will import flask and what we'll do is we'll import render template as well right and m the name of the app for, for for this project will be app only and we'll be saying that app is the name of the flask file that we're I mean the application that we're trying to make and we this is the name and then we will say if we are running it by the name then this is the main file and then we'll say app dot run okay so now the application will start this is the whole flask uh, syntax in order to start up a website and this is the very beginner stuff of uh, creating or doing web development with python using flask but now what we need to do is we need to create a route route is something which is known as the URL only so what we are saying that app would behave like this if this URL is taken over and then what we'll do is we'll write a function which will be called main and then we'll be writing some HTML so I'll I'll show you two things the first one is without using the render template and this is this the, the very one that you'll be seeing right now is without render template but i'll show you how you do it through render template as well so if you don't want to use render template what you can do is you can write return and then you can say hi and then you can press save and then run it so the moment you run this you'll see that you know um, this is uh, this is going to start a server of flask and uh, of course we are using python only and in order to use this in order to click or in order to open this up you can simply copy and paste or what you can do is you can simply press control and then click this and then chrome will get open and you have written hi and this is displayed here so if you don't want to use it of course this is uh, this is not at all the version of what web development means when it comes to using flash so what we can do is we can render a template as well so even my render template doesn't have I mean even the template that we have made is not as fancy it's just one simple string using the headline which is h1 tag so what we can do is of course we have to return and then we can write render template and then open it up 
open the bracket up and close it and then says what we want to do is we want to use main page HTML file and uh, HTML and then I will run this so the moment I run this of course uh, as I told you that my HTML uh, is just a very simple high only or even not that so this is high only but you will see that you know it's bold just because what I've done is in my HTML template which is this one if you would see if I edit this through notepad plus plus you will see that I have only written it in like I've only written high so I want to say hi coding casually and then save it up and then close it up and then rerun the uh, server of flask uh, you will see that we would get a different response and this is the same thing so you don't have to change the code here you simply can change the html connect the css files and that is the reason we have made a static folder as well so this is just a very simple basic uh, part of python tutorial using flask and doing web development and if you want to know how you make uh, fancy applications or school websites or registration websites or like now in 2020 we, it's just a simple scratch that I'm talking about we can make much and much and many things using Flask. Flask is a microservice uh, or I, I should rather say it's, it's not good as Django but it suffice most of the requirements when I get it or when when I'm sure that when people get it so stay tuned on the channel we'll, we'll be doing much with flask we'll be making uh, the use of Django as well but that is a part of a different series altogether uh, we'll be running a series on flask we'll be making many websites and many even blogs through flask so if you like the video please press the like button please share it with the people and please subscribe to the channel thank you